Hello, good morning viewers. As I promise, I will show you how to integrate a function using partial fractions. If you want to learn more about partial fractions, you can refer back to my previous lessons. So now let us give this a try. We are asked to integrate this function, which is a compound fraction. Integrating function in this form is very difficult. And hence, we have to dissolve this into partial fractions. So let first of all dissolve this into partial fraction. We have 10 minus 2x over x minus 3 times x minus 1. We are going to consider the denominator. We have factors which are linear and non repeated. And the degree of the denominator is higher than the degree of the numerator. Hence, we can dissolve it into this form because this is a linear. The numerator is going to be constant over this factor x minus 3 plus another constant over x minus 1. This is equal to, we are going to start with this factor using cover up method. To transform this into 0, the value of x must be equal to 3. And we are going to substitute that 3 into the other factor. 3 minus 1 is 2. So we have 2 times this factor x minus 3. To obtain the corresponding numerator, that 3 must be substituted here. 2 times 3 is 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. So we have 4 here. Then the other fraction. To transform this factor into 0, x must be equal to 1. Substituting that one here, we have 1 minus 3, which is negative 2. So we have negative 2 times the factor x minus 1. To obtain the corresponding numerator, that one must be substituted here. 2 times 1 is 2. 10 minus 2 is 8. So we have 8 here. 2 can go into 4 2 times, so we have 2 over x minus 3. Minus 2 can go into 8 4 times, so we have 4 over x minus 1. So this is the partial fraction of this compound fraction. We can write this instead of this. This is equal to the integral. We can integrate them independently. We can even factor 2 out, so we can have 2. Then inside we have 1 over x minus 3. Still, if you multiply 2 by this fraction, you are going to obtain this. Minus, you can factor 4 out. The integral of 1 over x minus 1. In each of these two functions, if you differentiate the denominator, it will give you exactly as the numerator, because the derivative of x minus 3 is 1. Likewise, x minus 1 will also give you 1 if you differentiate it. And whenever you have fractions in that form, it will be, we have 2 here. Uh, the integral of this will be the natural log of the absolute value of the denominator. Minus 4 times the natural log of the absolute value of x minus 1. Plus the constant of integration c, which is also a real number. So this is exactly what you have to obtain after integrating this function. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.